It's always so great to see you. Uh, congratulations on the return of Roseanne. Thank you very much. This must be beyond uh, your wildest dreams, even the fact that it came together in the first place. It was a gift. And I, I'm treating it as such. I'm very grateful to be back there, uh, as opposed to last time when I was rehearsing. And uh, <laughs> uh, it was it was a, remarkable how it came together. Uh, I was on uh, Sarah Gilbert's talk show, The Talk. Yes. In case there's any confusion. <laughs> and we did a little Roseanne-ish sketch at the top of it. And during the show, she asked me if I was be interested in a, a reunion show or something like that, a clip show, I don't know. I said, yeah, I had a heartbeat. And she called Roseanne, said I was interested, and three weeks later we had a deal with the American Broadcasting Company. That's crazy. Also what? known as ABC. <laughs> yeah, <thank> you. <laughs> You've always been a formal. You always speak about networks very formally. Yeah, the Dumont <laughs> Network. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. Obviously, you and Roseanne have this chemistry. It's incredibly well honed. I remember this year at the Golden Globes, you guys came out and presented together. Yeah. And I was rehearsing earlier in the day, and for people who don't know, they just have extras do the lines. Uh, so I was watching, and it was like a, a three-line exchange between uh, you and Roseanne, but I watched two extras do it, and I was like, this isn't funny at all. And then you and Roseanne came out, said the exact same thing, and it just crushed. Well, they, they gave me a punchline that didn't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And she saved my bacon. Oh, well, that's, yeah, uh, that's she, nice. I think that when you have a, a partner in comedy like that, there's yeah. a lot of bacon saving. Oh, thank you. And uh, you brought back uh, the whole cast. You even brought back both Beckys. Was that a fun thing to yeah, have was, to figure was, out the math amazing. of that? Yeah, I, I, didn't, I couldn't recognize one part. <laughs> which one is which? Um, yeah, they fit her in. She, I, she may even be coming back. I don't know, doing something. Um, but it was, it, it's just so bizarre to walk onto that set for the first time. Everything is reproduced exactly. And I get, you know, I got chills. And uh, I, I, it's not deja vu, but it's something spookier. I think Laurie Metcalf calls it a wormhole. A wormhole, that yeah. makes sense. So if you said reproduced, it's not the original uh, set? No, they had to get stuff off of eBay, I believe, that was ours. <laughs> oh, really? Now, the, <laughs> the rumor that I've been spreading is that the Smithsonian Institution owns the couch and, uh, and they wouldn't run it back to us <laughs> cheaply. Right. But that's not true. <laughs> but it's it a makes good it rumor. Print the legend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Print the legend. Cheap bastard. <laughs> I want to tell you about the government. Let me tell you about the government stuff. Uh, oh, they're bad. <laughs> well, there's the show, of course, is a lot now about the government. Not as much as I feel like it's maybe getting ink for, but uh, Roseanne is a Trump supporter, uh, uh, Lori. Is a is a Hillary a left wing uh, supporter? Did you know going into the season what the stories were going to be about? I didn't care. Yeah, that's not. Which is well, pretty I think... much the way I went through the last nine years of the show. Well, I don't care. <laughs> the other thing that I think that helps is Dan doesn't seem to care. It's basically no. he's along for the ride as well. He's out in the garage drinking quite a bit of beer. <laughs> yeah. And that they're going to have to deal but with But he looks very time. svelte. So, uh, Thank new you. Dan looks very svelte. You've done him a great favor. I do like beer. Yeah, you do that. Thank you.